what I find personally compelling about this image is how it functions on several levels. At its most literal, it's perspectival. The name Begisisa means to look closely or to look attentively, and it's only through this form of looking that you can see the body stretched across the rocks. It's an invitation not just to see, but to actively look. But I think it's in the poetry of the image that it really sings. The ambiguity of Moholi's body goes beyond the divisions of gender. They appear some essential human form beyond what we consider man or woman. They could be the first human being on the earth or the last. They appear at one with the space not separate from it. They almost appear as if they've sprung from those very rocks. And through that, I think they present us with a unique question. Fitting of the time we're in, they seem to ask, how do we relate to the ground we're on and the structures we're in when all else has fallen away?